Hello from Slide Nerd and hello from Weaves. This is the third video on what are methods inside the object oriented programming list that I have. And here I'm continuing my discussion about what methods are and actually how to make a method by going to NetBeans. So, here, if you guys remember this piece of code, we had this in the first video where I talked about making a calculator. Then I discussed that here we are adding A and B, and which says sum equals to A plus B. But now, if you want to add three numbers, we're going to have to put a variable C over here, then change this, change this, change this, and so on, right? And then again, we need to have four numbers. We're going to again have to modify stuff and so on, right? For that, we said that methods are a better approach. So let's actually see how they are a better approach. So here, instead of doing everything inside my main method, which is the boss, I'm going to make a new assistant. I'm going to go down, call my assistant calculate. This is the first step. Give it a name. Put two empty brackets near it. Start a bracket. Close the bracket, right? Inside this bracket, define what this method is going to do. So here, I'm going to take all this stuff here. Control X, Control V, cut paste inside stuff, right? And this is my method now. Now I need to specify two things more. One is what type of method this is. Whether it's a dumb method, it's a smart method, it's a clever method. So here, it is going to be a dumb method for now. So for the dumb method, I'm going to say void over here because this is not going to give any result back to the boss. It's going to do its work and it's done. It's not going to say tell the boss that, hey, this was done. That was calculated. Next, I'm going to give a modifier, which is going to be public over here. Now, don't worry if you don't understand modifiers for now. I'll talk about modifiers in a separate video later. And then there is one little thing which I need to do for the static over here. Now again, don't worry if you don't understand what is a static. We'll discuss about static things later. For here, now this step completes my define the method phase. Now I need to use the method. I have trained my assistant to do stuff, but I need to actually make him do the work, right? So inside my main method, I go here and I'll simply say, and we are done. If you run this at this point by saying Control S, Shift F6, there you go, 5, 10, 15, 20, and all the numbers are added. But you know what? There is something very, very wrong with this method because you try to solve the problem of modifying stuff, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. Think about it. You want to add three numbers. Again, you're going to make a new variable over here. Modify this, modify this, modify this, modify that. In short, after doing all this, we came back to the same problem of modifying stuff. And besides, if you remember, I told you methods should perform only one operation. Whether they involve several steps, they should be only doing one operation. For example, think about this. You have two numbers. You want to add the numbers. You want to print the result. All this is only one operation, which is called addition, right? Same way, this is subtraction. This is multiplication. And this is division, right? So let's go ahead and make four methods for each of these four operations. So first, I'm going to say public static void add i'll make a dumb method for the start i'm gonna put these two numbers inside say add over here same way i'm gonna replicate stuff for subtracting multiplying and dividing so let me copy paste stuff all right so at this point if you guys notice there are four methods the first one is add it only does one operation that is adding two numbers subtract does one operation subtracting two numbers multiply and divide and this calculate method which i have over here i'm gonna remove this because this is not a perfect method so at this point we are left with these four methods now if you want to add stuff remember we have defined these four methods so far we have not used them for that i'm going to say add over here to use them subtract multiply divide and there you go this is the simplest object oriented program that you can talk about that uses four methods pretty simple right let's save it by saying Control s and press shift f6 to run it and there you go that's the same two things but if you notice something all of these are dumb methods they don't take anything from the boss which is your main method over here your boss is not able to tell them that add three and four add five and six add seven and eight right so let's go and make them a clever method first so for add what i want is the boss should be able to do something like this add five comma six this is what i want to do so what is the value of five it's an integer right so i'm going to go ahead and make an integer over here then you have this comma over here so here again i put a comma i have my six over here which is another integer so i'm gonna call that int b over here right at this point things are done remove the statement inside 
because we already have a and b at the top here right you say sum equals to a plus b print ln so let's actually run this and see how things work Control s shift f6 so there you go you say add 5 and 6 you have 11 over here let's call add another time over here inside our boss by saying add again Control s shift f6 first is 11 which is the add of 5 and 6 14 and 20 there you go 34 so now you can see your add method is now a clever method it is capable of taking values from the main method adding them up and giving you different result each time it has been called right now let's actually make this a little more smarter by making it a smart method now what I'm gonna do is instead of printing a plus b over here I'm gonna return this value back to the main method for that I'm gonna go here remove the statement I'm gonna say return sum put a semicolon so at this point you probably get an error because remember sum is an integer I need to specify that I'm returning an integer at the top over here so remove that void put an int over here and we are done so what I can do with this very simple I can say int x equals to add 5 comma 6 so what this is gonna do is have 5 over here inside integer a 6 over here inside integer b add them up by saying 5 plus 6 equals to 11 return that 11 and take that 11 over here and put that inside integer x so now I can go down here and I can see system dot out dot print ln x over here control s shift f6 and there you go that goes 11 right now this was our clever method sorry the smart method the same way you can make subtract also smart multiply and divide I leave that up to you guys to make those methods smart but I hope you guys have understood something out of how to use methods and how to make them if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts I would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next bit have a nice day